Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I will be doing a review for this something entirely new to my channel. Okay, this is the 1000 Toys, the One Child Skill TOA Heavy Industrial Synthetic Humans, the female versions. Yes, I know it's a mouthful, but just take it as this is the synthetic female humans. Yeah, it's a very, very highly articulated figures as we can see in this pose. It's very nice. This is not a new company. It has been around for quite some time already. They started off with one six scale and now they finally venture into one twelve scale. As a matter of fact, the one twelve scale for the male version was released quite a few years ago and this is their first female versions okay as you can see the box is very very nice you can see the reflections of the lights from behind you can see that it is a female version although <laughs> she might not look like it because of her short hair and let's slide off the cover to see what's inside and wow we can see a more female pose there okay so it's very very nice and when we turn it around yes this is the figures inside the box and we can see from these clear windows i'm sorry about the reflections of my light i will turn it off now yes so you can see it better i'm sorry about the reflection earlier on i have always liked the huge window box so we can see what's inside so let's get it open Okay, so this is the synthetic female humans right out of the box and the first moment I took it out, wow, it's very very light as if there's nothing there but you can see the beautiful design, the engineering of the entire body is looking awesome, okay. The face kind of reminds me of the iRobots movie which is part of the reason why I like this figure because I kind of like that movie as well starring Will Smith, yeah, very nice movie and wow, she just looks very eerie as in a human like form yes and the entire body although there's nothing much to talk about in terms of the overall aesthetic look uh just that is uh it's just a very robotic kind of feeling you can even see the bad bones of it very very nicely done but i believe you will spend more times on the articulations because that's where these figures will trump okay and i did mention that the 112 scale of the male versions was released uh, quite a few years ago sorry about the auto focus somehow it just keep trying to focus i think it's because the figure itself is kind of tiny actually because it's a female versions and this is the male versions wow i didn't know there were so big difference in terms of the height yeah this one is the male version which was created quite some times ago i think quite a few years ago and they actually released a few of the uh, kind of like reissue okay and actually what's special about the reissue is they actually numbered the reissues okay how do you tell there's a, a marking over here if i'm i'm not sure if you can see it uh yep that's the marking yep this is supposed to be the fourth reissue if i'm not wrong i'm not sure how to read it but when i see on the uh, website picture i think this is the fourth one uh, yeah so this is like the fourth reissue of the same guy yeah looking pretty good there so i don't think um she will be having any because she's a new one oh you can see there's another marking of her something like a one if i'm not wrong maybe the one stands for she's the first generations yep okay so there is, it's very special how do they do the marking of it but comparing both now wow it's very nice like she he finally found uh the female version of himself yeah <laughs> okay and right now we will move on to the articulation which i believe there will be a lot to talk about because these figures is great for articulations let's start off with the head like always she can turn to the side no problem there looking up yes this is as far as she can and looking down even better because she can tilt her head yep no problem there for her arm she can turn 360 degrees absolutely no issues her hand can move up more than 90 degrees 
There is an arm shivers, a single joint elbow but she can go as far as double joint elbow. The hand is on a ball joint which means she can turn anywhere she wants to. There are three points of articulation right over here as we can see. So she can move around pretty freely on the top parts and on the mid portion as well and even on the waist portions. So bending forward, let's see how much she can bend. Wow, almost a 90 degrees there. Bending backwards, let's see. Yep, this is as much as she can bend, not too bad. She can also turn her waist all the way to the side or even to the back, no issues. And of course, she can do a perfect split easily. She can kick forward up more than 90 degrees. She can kick backwards, yep, just like this. There's a shivers on the tight, double joint knee. And the foot is also on a ball joint which means that it can move anywhere it wants to. And she also comes with a toe hinge. So this figure just comes with a wide range of articulation as I expected her to be. And in the next session, I'm going to prove it to you on how she can do some of the poses easily whereby other figures would not be able to do so. So right up next, let's take a look at all the accessories that she comes with. A pair of relaxed hands which is already on the figure. A pair of closed fist hands. A pair of hands which allow her to hold on to some things. And lastly, a gun trigger hands. And she also comes with this very scary inner face whereby you can change it to the heads, okay? And these eyes are actually movable which I will show it to you guys later. And since she's a female, she also comes with a hair, okay? You can actually put it onto the head. And also since she's a female, she also comes with interchangeable breast size. <laughs> yep, so the one that is on the figure, I think is the small. So this is the medium and this is the large, if I'm not wrong. She also comes with these tiny toothpick-like things. I think it's for moving the eyes, if I'm not wrong. And lastly, she also comes with this instructions manual which i believe it didn't come with the male versions this is very interesting from here you can see she also comes with these tiny little things there which i'm not so sure what it is for okay yep maybe it's a stand or something and you can see from here it says version one Okay, so right now is the play time and I do notice something before that. Yep, there is some dirt over here which I believe it wasn't there earlier on when I took it out. So I believe this dirt comes from when I actually, you know, do the articulations, it actually rubs into the inner parts of the body and when I pull it out again, it has the dirt if I'm not wrong. Yep, so this is a bummer because I believe the male version doesn't have this problem at all. Yeah, try to scratch it off, but <laughs> it doesn't really go through. Yeah, it's kind of bummer because this is supposed to be a white clean figures, but it just end up with some dirt here when doing the articulations. Yikes. Moving on, we'll start off with how to change the hand. It's very easy. Just pop it out like this and just push it back in. As simple as that. And now to interchange the face, we can actually take it out just like this. Very easy. And just put it back like this. Yes, so wow, this is a very scary face. And I did mention before that the eyes are movable. So when you turn to the back, you can see there are tiny little things that you can actually turn the eyes with. So I believe this is where this uh, toothpick comes in that you can just, you know, push to the side. Let's see, it's very, very small. And we can see, yep, we have a crazy eyes now. And not just that, this face also have movable eyes. That you can see it also have these tiny little things that you can move around with so if i were to move it to the side like this yep you can see that it looks sideways now and to put on her hair you have to take out this piece here yep this piece here put back the face okay and then just put the hair like this just slot it in very very easily Yep, so this is how she looks like. <laughs> kind of good looking. And if you feel her chest is too small for your liking, you can actually change it. Uh, How do we do so? Yep, just very easily pull it out. So let's try with the medium size. Yeah, you can see the pack there. Just make sure it goes to the hole like this. Yes, so we have a medium size one. And this is the large size. <laughs> 
Wow, okay. <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out what is this thing for and the instructions manual isn't much help. So I believe we should need to check out together. Uh, oh, okay. So this is movable. Yep. Very nice. And uh, is this some kind of stand? Okay. Uh, let's try it on. Yep. I think it's some kind of stand just to hold on to it. But it just kind of looks very weird for a stand to look like this, like a clamp. Yep. Maybe this is uh, magnetic. Is this magnetic so that you can stick it onto any metal uh, area and you can still let it stand? Yeah, maybe you try it out later on a magnetic uh, surface. Yep, so this is, I believe, is some kind of stand for her to stand properly. Yep, okay. Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to do some of the poses which I think uh, most of the figures couldn't do so. Yep, so uh, let's start off with something that is on the box just now. Which is this pose and I believe most of the action figures couldn't do this pose at all because of the posability is so hard. So let's try on this figure which I believe she can do quite easily without a stretch. Okay, <laughs> so she can stretch very well you can see it's very simple yep and you can even push her further to the front and yep she can even hold her hands together yes so this is as good as this figure are okay yep you can see very very nicely done yep so how many figures can actually do this yeah maybe the amazing yamaguchi can but this figure i believe can do it even better and the next pose is what we are familiar with which is the superhero landing pose and I believe most of us actually have problem doing that pose try to mimic as close as possible but we always can't get it right because of uh, the articulations and I believe this figure here can easily do the superhero landing pose without any issue at all yeah so it should be something very easy so let's try something like this if i'm not wrong yep so you can see she can do a very easy superhero landing pose yep and she can even look up uh, as much as possible yeah something like this this is a good one okay yep it's a very hard pose even uh, some of the iron man can't do it properly but this guy here can easily pose it or you might want to do some dynamic running pose yep which i think this figure again can do it very easily yep something like this i'm not a very good poser by the way so i try my best okay so you can see she can do a very dynamic running pose like this wow this is cool yep something like this sprint running or flying pose very nice yep so this figure can do almost everything that a human's body can do let's try to do some yoga pose okay so i believe yoga is another uh things that most figure can't do yeah let's try on this guy yeah sorry <laughs> this is a lady yeah on this lady here so yeah something like this yep very very good ones okay yep <laughs> Okay, since she's a lady, I will try to compare her with all the female figures that I have. So let's start off with some Marvel Legends. I have the Scarlet Witch from the Wanda Visions as well as the Spider Gwens. Okay. And next we'll go for some SH figures. I have the Scarlet Witch again as well as the Captain Marvel. Okay. And next I'll move on to this Mayfax Spider Gwen, which is as small as she is. And I'll compare her with this Figma, which I forgot what her name is. And she looks even smaller than her. Wow. And lastly, I'd like to compare her with this TB Leaks body. Yep, this is the one with the red bikini as well as this one with the yellow bikini. Of course, the heads are from the Dragon Ball Android 18 as well as the maniple heads of Scarlet Witch. 
Okay, so my final verdict for this 1000 Toys, the synthetic female humans is going to be a 9 out of 10. Yes, it actually perfect in the overall looks. I kind of like the robotic looks of it and the eyes are movable. They even give her hair for her and the articulations no doubt is the best. She can do whatever uh, what a humanly body can do or even better. Yep, and the only grabs I have is um, the dirts. Yeah, it seems that the quality that they use uh, it's not that good. It catches the dirt very easily as you can see and even some of this portion which doesn't have articulation is starting to have some dirt. Yeah, even here you can see. I'm not sure where all this comes from. Yep. It <laughs> somehow it just looks not too good when it starts to get dirty. Yeah, but of course if you plan to have some clothing on her, um, you know, you plan to use this body for some other characters which requires great uh, posture, great articulations, you can always buy some clothes for her to wear and then just change the head to those characters that you want to, okay? But uh, I think it will be hard to use this body because first of all, she's kind of skinny and small. Yeah, so whatever head that you have when you put on this body is going to look way too big for this body. Yeah, but it's still possible, I believe. I think I've seen someone actually does that with this figure. Yeah, but you need to see if you can find some fitting clothes for her. Yeah, but otherwise the articulation is brilliant for this figure. If, if you are just into drawing, yeah, you want to see how the uh, posture is, you can buy these figures for great drawing reference. And like I say, I have these figures for several years now and I do play with it occasionally and all the joints are still very tight and it's still very poseable so it's a very good deal here very good articulations very good quality in terms of the joints everything is still good so i believe this one should be the same yep so i do strongly recommend these figures for those of you guys who are looking into some great possibility of a figure this is the one and they do give some interchangeable hands and even faces the movable eyes is a bonus again so i do recommend this um, you can check out the links down in the description below if you are interested to get one. So right now, I'd love to hear from you. What's your thoughts about this figure? Do let me know down in the comment sections below. So hit the thumbs up button if you find this video informative and do subscribe to my channel as I have new video up almost every alternate day. And I'll catch you again in my next video. As always, stay safe, take care and thank you for watching. Hey, so I have tested out this thing. It's actually a magnet for this portion, as you can see. Yep, it's a very, very strong magnet. Yes, I have tried to put her legs on it and it just couldn't hold very well. So I'm not sure why do they need to put a magnet over there.